I was born and raised in Connecticut, here in the States, and uh, had a lot of opportunities, a lot of resources, a lot of choices, all while I was growing up. And when I traveled, especially when I took that trip to Haiti, um, I met people that were very similar to me in the sense that they had lots of drive. There were a lot of challenges they were facing, but they had a lot of drive and they wanted to really tackle those issues. The issue that they faced was that they did not have the resources in order to really tackle those challenges. Roots of Development is very different than a lot of other organizations. Um, our motto is development without dependency. Now this is very difficult at times because you have to say no or you have to decide not to support immediate needs at times. Short-term fixes in order to truly dedicate yourself and commit to long-term fixes. Most nonprofits, typical charities, they want to address major challenges like that. You can't go wrong with education. Supporting a child's education is a big deal, but for us it's the way in which you do these charitable activities that can make a huge difference. Instead of saying, we're going to pay for your child's education, we're going to buy a pair of shoes, we're going to buy him a backpack, what we do is we talk to that individual and say, let's sit together. Let's figure out how we can help you find a way to pay for your own child's education. To buy him a backpack and to buy him a pair of shoes on your own. It's not only more sustainable because it's not depending on us as a foreign entity or as a separate entity that's not already part of that system that exists there, but it's much more respectful. The greatest challenges Roots faces, I would say, um, besides obviously working in um, the tough situation that exists in Haiti uh, with very rural communities that are very disconnected from most of the systems that do exist in that country, um, has been the learning curve uh, that I've faced as an individual starting an organization um, at a very young age. I started at about a 25 years old. Um, I didn't have a lot of experience in much of anything besides um, school, besides college. I've had to learn how to become an expert in program development, an expert in marketing, public relations, an expert in fundraising, an expert in volunteer management, an, ex an expert in bookkeeping and financial management and everything under the sun. Um, because it's a, it's, a, it's a small operation that's doing quite a bit with uh, limited resources. We have some really great um, corporate supporters. Whole Foods Market is, has been a big supporter of ours. Um, and then we've had a huge support, grassroots support. Uh, that's kind of how we started. Um, to be honest, um, my parents have been, become a huge part of this organization. It means a lot to them. They've traveled to Haiti uh, many times. My biggest achievement, I would say, is sticking with my principles. I could say perhaps the large water facilities we've helped build in Haiti. I could say perhaps the community centers, the public latrines, the community associations we've helped create. But to be honest, I think when you start an organization, you can be pulled in so many different directions. There are so many challenges when it comes to poverty in the world. Um, I've never lost my sense of why I'm doing this and I've never lost the sense of at the very end of the day this is about communities working with communities, people working with people and that for me has been my greatest, my greatest achievement is sticking to those principles.